are not saved. If they continue in faith oh. and love holiness with self-control. Yeah. That means read your scripture and quit playing with your <laughs> That's crazy. I would have been by Oh, okay. So when you show your, your whole tits in my camera, <laughs> right, like, oh, oh, you, you think a man is going to see that and be like, damn, that's wifey one day? Or Hell like, no! That's why you can't post that I'm so, a, I'm so why you, you, you going to sue me? Yeah, because I'm drunk. You, yeah. pull, you pulled your titties out in my camera in public. Oh, well, they got to pay me. I'm avoiding accountability. <laughs> When you can't post the music that they uh that you ain't uh pay for copyright copyright that's my tits. But her end is as bitter as wormwood, and as sharp as a two-headed sword. That means that feel good, but it's gonna get you in the long run. It's scripture. This ain't I'm making up. No, but you're giving your own version of it. I'm not giving my own version of it. Everything I said is exactly what they meant right there. I'm interpreting scripture because I was. Brought here by the Lord to save all the sexy red type. They ain't gonna understand that. Craig reading it. That's true. They need me to tell them. Look, STD put the heifer. Your womb is polluted because you thought for yourself. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. We are here to report fake news. Fake news indeed. That Sexy Red has decided to go out like Megan Thee Stallion. She's decided to stop thotting it up and to be a respectable role model. Why? Because her children are watching. That's why. Sir, I said it, sir. What have we got here? A f***ing comedian, private joker. I admire your honesty. No, but the truth is that she has continued to prove why... The lowest common denominator in today's society gets all of the applause. And Sexy Red has done something that a lot of folks don't understand. She's blurred the lines between performance art and life. You see, Sexy Red really lives it that way. Like Brother Tariq said, Sexy Red is just here living her regular hood life, getting paid for it. And the grand spectacle is what we line up to watch, what we line up to see, what we line up to criticize over and over again. This is nothing but a modern day minstrel show. Now there'll be tons and tons of folks saying, hey, let Big Sexy have her do. Let Big Sexy have her money. Let Big Sexy do what Big Sexy does. And it's on brand. It's on brand for her to be ratchet. It's on brand for her not to care what you think, to be a bad example for children. A matter of fact, the biggest thing that Sexy Red and Sukiana will tell you is that your kids are your responsibility. So the poison I'm pumping into their ears, it doesn't make a difference. You should have more control. I am not the reason that y'all look bad. I do not represent y'all. Y'all represent y'all self. I am not y'all representation. And then y'all be trying to make me feel like I got to change for y'all. Who is y'all? Y'all already look a mess. Y'all already was a mess. No, stop blaming me for y'all being look, looking a fool or looking bad. Y'all been looking baby, bad. bad. Y'all been looking bad. Your baby daddy's been making y'all looking bad. Y'all all been looking bad. Your husband's been making y'all look bad. All y'all been looking bad already. I am not the reason that y'all look bad. I do not represent y'all. Y'all represent y'all self. I am not your representation. Suki Hana is not nobody's representation. Chow. Why would y'all even want me as representation? Y'all need representation y'all still. But see, there's a two-way accountability. Yes, they're right. Your kids should not be watching it. But if you know it's wrong and you're doing it anyway, well, then you're just as bad. You're just the devil we know and not the devil we don't know. But to her latest shenanigans, yes, Miss Hood pregnancy herself. You see, Sexy Red knew that she could make money off of being pregnant, and she capitalized off of it. Okay, it's your pregnancy, ma'am. Do what you gotta do. But soon as she got out that hospital, she had to go back to the filth and the debauchery. I mean, at this point, does anyone think with her behavior that that X tape that was leaked was not leaked by her or her camp? At this point, does anybody listening, does anybody who knows really believe that she really loves that booty hole brown lip gloss that she's trying to push. 
Does anybody really not believe that she had those venereal diseases that she was so proud of just to keep it real with you? Does that anybody not believe that she is the raw dog queen? Two-time baby mother. Two different baby daddies. Man, she's batting a thousand. But I understand what the internet has done to most of these women. I'm sitting here watching it. What is the new month thing everybody want that's, that's the new money? Attention. 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 Right. Attention means more money, more influence, more power, more strong, independent, I don't need a man attitude. The Sinister Sisterhood of Slay Queens leveraged their heart-shaped box to riches and favors, adopting masculine drive and tendencies along the way. Now I want to make a distinction between the good apples from the bad apples. First off, women's software are all the same as they thrive off of attention, likes, comments, and validation. Girls like this have been getting ripped on social media for their dancing on Mardi Gras by the deep red pillars and trad cons, traditional conservatives. In my opinion, they're just young women having fun, and I don't know about you, flight savages, but having every woman to be overly prim, proper, pious, and prude is not the business. That's like sandbagging your own chances of smashing ones that's asking for that work. You want to call him a bad guy because he hoes? You call him a bad guy, but hoes gonna get Hoes gonna get So, do you think that when you shake ass in the camera and stuff, like men are gonna look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I want to make my wife? I don't give a. What did you say? Let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Stop the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow right now. Stop the cow. That's why you let her do it. You know, Jane. Attention. Attention. Right. You ha you don't realize you hypnotize. People are complimenting you like in no way they didn't before. A woman that's about something ain't gonna hang herself for you or nobody else. They not gonna hang themselves. They gonna do things where you see, wow, this person has principles. This person is not about that. Woo woo woo. The reason we let girls hang themselves, we want to make an excuse for still being around a whore. Oh my God. As you can see, this woman's acting a fool, shaking her goods just like a spicy star, but then coming off as masculine. Go on social media and see all the twerking and grinding happening all over. You have underage girls doing this. You have older women, grannies, that should be hanging up their lingerie, doing the twerking and the grinding, the NPCing for tips and tricks. Shoot, we men get the benefits of this whole slut culture, but at the same time, we know that spicy stars of the past were out of the public eye and cordoned off to the section of the video store. But with the rise of the OF, the lonely fans, and ways where women, average women, with the numerous ways that women with access to the internet can now monetize their sexuality on every social media platform. We've seen the blending of the spicy sexual arts and entertainment business by normally gate-kept industry, now wide open. Where did all these ladies learn this behavior from? And the answer might be surprising, as Dennis Sperling educates us on the history of these adopted behaviors that we have now, these ghetto, ratchet, low-class rednecks that we have, or black rednecks, as Thomas Sova, they lack this. They inherited from them white folks, the unsophisticated white folks who came to the South. Sophisticated white people don't even want to deal with them. They call them rednecks, they call them white trash, they call them crap. And if you look at the movie Django, when, when the colonel was telling the young uh, African-American girl who, who was enslaved, should, how should I treat Django? Should I treat them like white folks? She said, no. Well, how should I treat them? Treat them like you treat that uh, over there. Django is a free man, you understand? You can't treat him like any of the other around here because he ain't like any of the other around here. You got it? You want I should treat him like white folks? No. What's the name of that Pecklewood boy from town that works with the glass? You mean Jerry? That's the boy named Jerry. You know Jerry, don't you, sugar? Yes, I'm big dad. You just treat him like you would Jerry. So even they distinguish between classes. That's some of that behavior that they inherited from these low-class white folks. And see, there's a certain class of black people, they can suck the class out of everything. Go to Ruth Chris in Memorial Day weekend in Miami. Go to some of these fancy rest, these five-star restaurants here in Houston, you know, uh, uh, on, on July 4th weekend, right? They ruin everybody. You can't even have brunch anymore without 
twerking on the table. Hypersexuality and spicy materials began mainly as a European thing, but now every race is represented in media and on social media, shaking their goods for on their OFIG triple X accounts, getting them in that TikTok funnel on the only hams and yams. What is associated as low class raunchy behaviors derived from their European lower classes, influencing the culture here in the United States. Just like how spicy adult entertainment and this ratchet hypersexual behavior you see happening on social media, with many of the ladies part taking in these extracurricular activities. Just look at the solidarity of the sisterhood, banding, bandits, gyrating, dancing, and twerking in unison. Men want a freak in the sheets and a lady on the streets. A freak in the sheets and a lady in them streets. Fuck you talking about? Are you married? Yes. You're cheating on your husband? Yeah, Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. We're both married. Are you cheating on your husband in Vegas? Maybe. Is she? She's cheating on her husband in Vegas. Wow. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go extra real quick so i drove down to the gas station let him cream pie me and then i came home to sneak into bed my boyfriend woke up and then wanted to f me and he started eating me out and told me how good he tastes and he's eating my accents come out of me and i never told him this mindset in america in the western world is a sickness it is deviant and we do not want it eh? This whole slut horrid culture is becoming normalized, spreading like an insidious mind virus, attacking on multiple fronts on the modern woman. Some of it right in your face, the rest of it sneaking up on the culture like a passive aggressive progressive python, slowly squeezing all life out of masculine standards, structure and order. It's a vicious never ending negative feedback loop because this behavior has made its way into mainstream media, arts and entertainment, music, to what you see on your screens today. It doesn't matter the race, the culture, or philosophy, but the modern woman ideology is converging on a cultural spectrum of debauchery and raunchiness. You I have day one of you niggas, I keep two in the chamber. So do at you, all times, at all times. You I don't give a fuck. I'm my wife. Do you not want to be a wife one day though? Do you not want to be a wife one day though? When I'm old, when you shake I need to know your connotation yeah, well, yeah, of wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm a lot of wife. Okay. I'm a lot of Do you have a ring? I got plenty of rings. I forgot to put my other ring up. I'm iced up. Let me put the light on that. But has a man of a ring? Let's put the ice on that. Yeah. And if you think it couldn't get any worse, it just did. Ladies and gentlemen, the plight savage squadron. What you see is the merging mix of masculine ratchet traits with the hypersexuality, booty shaking, full scale, puss blown out, sexual liberation running rampant on these streets as the sisterhood of succubies, sucking the life force metaphorically and literally out of the men and obliterating the integrity of good, feminine, beautiful, inspirational women out there. Be real, be real, be real, be real. Fat mother. And yes, ladies, not all, but there's a good portion of the population that's popping that pee. Even if the language, the vernacular, like colloquialisms, dialects, jargon, pronunciation, and grammar are different. The modern woman ethos is in perfect alignment and the same. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Um, no. No? We don't need short men. Do you need a man? No. Do you need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? We need men to make us stupid. Do we need men? Do we need men? Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? I don't know. No. Why? Because we can be strong and independent women. Do we? No. no. Why? Nobody needs men. Really? We do not need men. It's a damn shame, fellas. I know, I know. But it's just the rules of this new age game. And the worst part of it is that your daughters, your daughters are watching idolizing this person. Your daughters are putting in the work trying to be this person. Your daughters in a society itself is just decaying over and over again. And of course the decay isn't sexy red's false. That would be a red herring. That would be a false flag. That would be fake news. But 
sexy red is a symptom, a symptom of the greater evil that we have here, not only in the United States, but in Western society. The greater evil that said that we're just gonna let libido run amok, men and women. The greater evil that's the greater evil that says that it doesn't make a difference if it's wrong. God got me anyway. The greater evil that's telling people that no matter what they do, no matter what morality clause that they break, it's okay because they're free to do what they want and they're right. But one thing that has to be known and will always ring true from sea to shining sea is that you will be held accountable. Everything you do, every choice you make comes back to you. Every choice you make has a repercussion and you usually get in this world what you want. So if you want to be ratchet, ha ha, the, the universe will grant you the gift of ratchetness. But when you don't want to be that way anymore, when you want to be seen differently, when you want a real relationship, when you're sitting there with maybe your third or your fourth baby daddy wondering why the guy that you want won't take you seriously, well, it all comes down to this. Even Tiffany Haddish couldn't bag the man that she wanted with all of her money and all of her fame because the way she acts and her behavior, because perhaps her upbringing just wasn't in the pocket enough to make her the woman that the man she desired, desired her. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true happiness.